Hi, and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking a little bit about brightness and contrast within Photopeam. So I've pulled up this image that has a lot of different dimensions. We've got some shadows in the front and we've got a lot of lightness of the sun in the back. So I want to just demonstrate quickly how to adjust brightness and contrast within Photopea. So you're going to start by going up to image and go down to adjustments. And the first option there is the brightness and contrast menu. So that's where we're going to focus. So we'll click there. And we've got this menu that pulls up. <clears throat> you can move this window around by clicking and holding down. So I can kind of drag it over here so that I can it doesn't cover up my image. And here you can adjust these sliders to uh, lower or raise the brightness. So as I pull the brightness slider over to the right side, you can see that it makes things, it adjusts the brightness and it makes things brighter. And as I pull it to the left side, makes things a little bit darker. So I'm gonna drag that back to, to zero. And I can even type in numbers right here. I'm going to drag that to zero, type in zero to make sure it's at zero. And I can show you the contrast slider. This can lower or raise the contrast. So let's start by dragging it to the right. So you can see that it's almost making things sharper. Um, and then when I drag it to the left, it's kind of evening things out. Um, contrast can highlight the shades and the distance between black and white and we can really make the picture using both of these options look different than it originally was. What the brightness and contrast sliders do is they allow you to make simple adjustments to the tonal range of an image. So moving the brightness slider to the right um, increases those tonal values, it expands those image highlights, and the left decreases those values and then it really expands those shadows. The contrast slider, on the other hand, expands or shrinks the overall range of tonal values in the image. So it makes them more, a, a greater range or less of a range in the tonal values of the image. Once uh, you have decided on the adjustments that you'd like to make with the brightness and contrast, you can click OK on the menu and they will save on the image. And you can see over here in the history bright, where it says brightness and contrast. If I wanted to undo that, I could just click back in the history.